A villa Maria came on the scene when I was caring for my husband. I was in hospital getting a thyroid operation and uh, they wanted me to have some help uh, caring for him when I, when I left the hospital. So I was introduced to Villa Maria Catholic Homes by ringing up and saying, look, would they like to come out and, and see what services they had available. So ever since then, I've been really very well supported in all sorts of ways. Help with shopping, help with housework and that sort of thing. It was really marvellous. And included in that was also emotional help and spiritual help um, for either my husband or myself in the fact that he, you know, he was really um, facing the end of life. Uh, and that was uh, enormously important and very helpful. My uh, major uh, interest is art. Uh, art is, is, is something that I find ex extremely helpful. I lose myself in it. I get home help every week and without that I'd really get very tired if I had to make sure that the house remains spick and span, which is how I'd like it. That means I wouldn't be able to do some of the other things, so it's really helpful. This is the first mandala I did. Uh, I wanted to put into visual form how I felt about my husband's death. It took me a while to sort of get used to that. He was Irish, so I wanted to indicate the Celtic cross. And then the spirit with the, with the um, hearts, indicating the happiness of our marriage. Well, I, I think every person deserves to be independent as long as possible, because it's not a good feeling to be looked after by other people. The more self-reliant you remain, the better it is, I think. The better it is for everybody. I'm very happy with this.